know where. Marcus Boone, the prodigal, etc. Hey, Mr. Alpert, thanks for seeing us. Oh, it's the least I can do. Then you must be Nick. Boomer says you got a machine that can brute force any combination lock. Well, you certainly can, Nick. You just gotta give it a little time. Nick Mendoza, right? Oh, hey, look at that. Shit just got real. A lot of people want to talk to you, Mendoza. Including a fella from L.A. named Stoddard. Say he'd pay 250 grand for you alive. He's coming here right now. Marcus. Boys, what do you say we escort Mr. Mendoza and Marcus down to the presidential suite? Wait, you said just Nick. <laughs> Marcus isn't welcome here. He never was. Sorry. Peel her off this asshole before I puke. Oh, and Marcus, just so we're clear, race is not a factor here. My dislike of you is strictly personal. Hey everybody, I'm Ian Millam, creative director on Battlefield Hardline, and I'm here to give you the first look at our single player campaign. Visceral Battlefield single player is quite distinct. All right, stay behind me. You'll notice how the pacing is very different, and so is the experience. We gotta find a way out of here. There ain't no argument here. What the hell is this place anyway? Missile silo, decommissioned in the early 90s. Dude used to party down here. Uh, please tell me Alfred doesn't have a nuke. They don't have a nuke. That I know of. Some fucking dude, I don't know what he was. Once Tony took over, he changed the whole scene pronto. Hey, get this. He was a cop. Way too many cops around here. As you can see, you can get through a lot of our game by non-lethal means. You decide the way you want to play. So who's the guy paying the cops bounty? Tony doesn't know. Found his number on the, uh, the ATF agent's phone. A quarter million bucks for a Mexican. Shit. I didn't know they got so expensive. For example, playing stealth, 
You're always looking for ways to isolate your enemies. Here, we're using a bullet casing to lure one of these goons away from the group to better our odds. There's a ladder. That's our way out. Yeah. Come on. gets his hands on it, he'll trace it right back to Kai and Tyson. Okay, we can't risk that. Shit. Alright, so how you wanna take this, man? There's a lot of Alfred's dudes down there. Uh, looks like there's a place to climb in on the left. Yeah, but, but, or we could crawl under that fence over there on the right. Yeah, or we could take them head on. But, if you're up for that. And you lead. I'll be right behind you. What a thought. Unfortunately. Let's just go. Come on. You won't get this black man killed, I feel it. Now we're using a new gadget, the scanner, to stake out the situation. You can find objects, weapons, alarms, tag enemies, and identify high value targets. Not supposed to be bad. It ain't far, you know. What the hell happened? Tony just started beating on him, beating on him. Dude, he knocked the guy's eye out of his head. No. This is another new feature called Freeze. By managing it right, you're able to freeze enemies and prevent the situation from escalating. Freeze! What the fuck? Hey, I don't follow those guys. My, 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 my hands are up, all right? Hey, I ain't doing nothing, all right? I don't want no trouble, okay? Like your old friends have gone way past bank robbery. One black president and Tony completely lost his shit. There's a radio. Look, I'm gonna try to reach Doom. Shit, don't you have any other friends? Not out here. Okay. I'll get into the compound and find our gear. All right, man. Hey, be careful. The Taser is a great example of a non-lethal gadget that is effective in stealth mode. What the hell? 
Here's our high value target. Arresting these perps will give you a huge bonus. Now we're gonna head in, grab our gear, and try to hook back up with Boomer. There it is. Now take a nice, long look at the All right. first one. All right, time to get out of here. Fully collapsible stock and a modified grip for maximum shooter comfort while spitting roughly. Hey, stay there. Hands up. You're gonna run back in there, boss. Hey, who you with, man? CIA? FBI? I know who you are. Stay hot. <laughs> Choice is really going to change up the experience. It's up to you to choose your path. Our single player is going to deliver great new immersive experience and really add to the depth of Battlefield Hardline. Go, go, go!